Okay, hang, hang on just a second. Let me talk about this guy for a second. This muscle right here, so now we're on this picture, which is a lot harder because we're going to, we're not really going to go straight across. We're going to bunch up on this side, so we're going to go the brachioradialis, same, number one. Extensor carpi radialis, oops, I'm sorry. I lost it. Is that right? Okay, so I am actually jumping down into the, by the elbow though, and I'm looking, I think I might have messed up my order on these. Okay. You notice in the first three muscles, you've got three of the same things on either side. So I've got to find that number two muscle he's not showing yet. And if you look at the diagram, you see it better about halfway up the arm. It's not going to be down near the crotch or the elbow. It's going to be up in the middle. And so we got to get into this gap and just do some finding, hunting. And he's a little guy, not a big guy. How many of you guys go home and smell like mink when you get home? You just can't get it off your hands. Yeah. Isn't it? Latex too, yeah. And how many of you guys notice that when you get home, the dog just can't get away from you? They just want to sniff you. Is that the same problem? My dog just sleeps. My dog gets excited and leaves. Your dog gets excited and then leaves. last year. Okay. If you can see, I, some of you guys will probably be able to see that I can see a really slight separation now. Got in there, rubbed it so that my fingers have caused that edge to show its little face and then I want to get something into it without really messing it up. I think I just messed it up. And now that little edge I saw is gonzoed. Not working for me. And I'm in the way of the camera aren't I? Just to try to get my eyes in there. have a slight advantage that I've done this enough that usually I can just know about right where the separations are, but it's not working for me right now. Gosh, the light. The light and the pressure of having everybody watching you. Okay, I think, I think, I mean, this is the muscle. You can see the muscle. Maybe we don't really have to find the separation yet, but that's the muscle right there. So, if you take a look at this big one, if you take a look at the diagram, the biggest one that we called number three is actually called is is actually in front of the one that we're calling number two. So I guess if you memorized it differently and you flipped it, flip those two, you'd probably be better off. And I think I must have messed up on that. So I would go one, two, three. I'll let you guys figure that out. And the way you can tell is that this muscle actually goes all the way through. And so you can see it's the same muscle, the extensor um, carpi radialis longus is the same one on both sides. So that's got to be the flexor carpi radialis. And then things get dicey. So let's go and take a look at the fore muscle, which is the pronator teres. And it's right up here in the elbow. And actually on this guy, you can see it pretty well again already. It kind of cuts across. Pronation is what again? It's, it's opposite is what word? Supination. Supination. So if you had, um, this is pronation and supination. Which, one, which one's which? How do you remember it? That's supination. That's supination because you hold your soup like that. And pronation is that way. Okay, so. Flower ring one. Do I have a flower ring? No, it's a gold nugget ring. It's a fake. Let's say fake gold nugget ring. If I did? Good for you. <laughs> Showing my feminine side. So this little this little dissection right through here is going to, no matter what, if, if I could do this without shredding a little bit of meat, I'd be really surprised. It always does. You can see I'm already doing that. So just kind of cleaning up the pronator teres on both sides. You can see the biceps brachii is coming right in almost on the same point of attachment. So you want to be careful not to ruin him. Was that one of the muscles that we were going to do? What was the other one? 
remember? The supra scapula and Oh, that's infra. right. I'm on a tangent right now. Right. Okay, while I'm thinking about that, that's the supraspinatus on the big side of the spine. And the infra, the spine is right down this little edge right there, and there's the infraspinatus. Super is huge. Infraspinatus, infraspinatus. infraspinatus. The deltoid par scapularis is right there, and the deltoid par acromialis is right there. Okay. Okay. All right. So the teres major. What comes after that? That's number four, right? Oh no, four is pronotertris. That is four. After four, what comes after four? Number five. The Which is flexor digitorum, digitorum profundus. Flexor digitorum profundus. Okay, so how many more muscles? This is where I like to count because this this muscle here, you see that little line right there? It looks like a whole other muscle. Sometimes there's a bunch of those and you tend to break this into way too many pieces. So we've got four, then we're going to go five, flexor profundus, six, palmaris longus, seven, flexor digitorum superficialis, and back over here, this little edge is number eight right there. So this is number eight that we don't see very well on this side. So four, five, six, seven. So I have to find another muscle. And the obvious break, whether or not this is correct or not, is what, as I do that, where do you see it breaking? Right there. There it is. That one. Guys, this muscle this was, is the easiest one. <coughs> I'm going to go back thinking it's going to be easy. So what what should you do if you get if you struggle? Who's he gonna come look at? There's. Yeah, I'll do that too.